This devotion is for the 23rd of July, and the reading for this day comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 14 through 20. I am not writing this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. I appeal to you, then, be imitators of me. For this reason I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus, as I teach them everywhere and in every church. But some of you, thinking that I am not coming to you, have become arrogant. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not the talk of those arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk, but on power. So, there's a battle going on in Corinth, and, and, and there were many, quite frankly, in, in the church at Corinth. Uh, this was a valuable congregation to Paul, but you might also call this, this church um, one of Paul's problem children, if you will. Right? It, it, they struggled with a lot of things. In this case, there's been, there's been people coming um, in, in kind of large fashion, unfortunately, but th there's been people coming saying they were from Paul. This was, this was Paul's message. People trying to, to, to kind of change things a little bit. Um, all kinds of things. In other words, the leadership, and that's when Paul refers to fathers here, the leadership in the church is struggling even to the point where he sends Timothy to try and help. Now, the problem and, and what lifts up here is that as they were struggling with all of that, struggling with who was in charge, struggling with all the stuff, what happened was the message of the gospel got lost. That's the danger, right? When, when, we, when we struggle, we tend sometimes to lose what's most important. Sometimes we lose what exactly we're struggling for and what it's about. Our mission as St. Andrews really is a simple one. How we go about it, of course, can be in a lot of ways, but, but our mission is basic. To proclaim the word of God to the members of St. Andrews and to the community in which we live. That's our focus. It's how we do it. Now, there's a lot of ways that can be done. And that we can have lots of discussion about. But, but what we can't do is lose the focus as Christians as to what we're here to do. Hey. So many things, and especially in the middle of a pandemic that we can disagree about, right? We can disagree about masks and politics and, and all of those things. Thing is, none of those can be more important than the gospel. And none of those really can block the gospel. Because if they do, we have lost the core of who we are and whose we belong to. There is a prayer I'd like to share this day written by Martin Luther. Let us pray. Behold, Lord, an empty vessel that needs to be filled. My Lord, fill it. I am weak in faith, strengthen me. I am cold in love, warm me, and make me fervent that my love may go out to my neighbor. I do not have a strong and firm faith at times. I doubt, and I am unable to trust you altogether. O oh Lord, help me. 
Strengthen my faith and trust in you. In you I have sealed the treasure of all I have. I am poor, you are rich, and came to be merciful to the poor. I am a sinner, you are upright. With me there is an abundance of sin. In you is the fullness of righteousness. Therefore I will remain with you, of whom I can receive, but to whom I may not give. Amen.